But in terms of special relationship, I feel I don't care what the Course says, I want a special relationship. <laughs> I want it. I don't care. I think I need it. Yes, it may not be the end, but it's the beginning. And the Buddha, when he was on his journey, he realized at a certain point he needs to start eating because he's been too emaciated, right? And I feel in terms of not having a special relationship, I'm emaciated in that regard. And so I feel like I need a special relationship. On the other hand, then I feel like, well, then I have this grievance, well, I don't have a special relationship and, you know, I hold it against God that he did it to me. Look what happened with them. Well, I have a hundred thousand stories of how it didn't happen, right? Like all the magic happens and it doesn't work for whatever reason. And so it's kind of a weird position where, you know, certain principles I know to be true, but I'm not convinced that I don't need a special relationship and I go for it and don't get it and then I wind up with a grievance. So it's kind of a weird thing. And that's where I'm at with that. Yeah, I think you and lots of people in this world would, could say, raise it up and say, okay, I, I'm, I, I want to start with that special relationship because that's where it starts and it has to be taken to holy relationship. And yet, if you have had so many what the world calls failures in relationship or so many opportunities where nothing has really stayed on in a sustained way, then it can, it can be that, that feeling you're talking about. And, and from a deeper perspective, uh, um, there's, a, there's a, song, a song that I, I play a lot from Elisa Amor that um, is about, um, I have a kingdom, I must rule, at times I do, it does not seem I am its king at all. It's talking about the mind, mm -hmm. and about how in this world, when the mind fell asleep, it seems to have given away a lot of things to the, to the world. There seems to be an external world now that, that functions independently of mind, even though that's not the case. It seems like people say and do all kinds of things that seem to be, have nothing to do with decision. They, every, the people seem to have wills of their own, their own minds separate minds, their own decision-making capability, and then it seems like, like a relationship can seem like a risky or a, a kind of a, a distant experience when you've been on your own a lot, and it seems like I'm not even getting any kind of nibbles here, uh, you know, much less any bites. I, it's like being at the fishing pond and being out there and casting, right. casting it out there. It's like, yeah, okay, God, you say you use Special relationships. Let's start with one. Let's, let everybody to get in the middle. And, and yet, what the course is saying is um, um, that everything that seems to occur, not only in our little personal lives, but even more on a global and uh, we could say on a cosmic level, even in terms of the planets and the spheres and the black black holes, that everything is the result of a decision. Because our mind is literally, we could say, the, the Christ mind asleep. So we have this amazingly powerful Christ mind that has bought into this incredibly uh, limiting belief system. And it even has taught us that we are powerless in this world. You know, that we are a victim of the world and that, that we are powerless to, for example, even have a relationship. Like, if I've got such a powerful mind, I should even I should be able to conjure up a special relationship right. If, right. if it's that powerful and evidence seems to start to mount where it's like, oh no, I'm, I can't even do that. You know, I can't even pull off that. So that's where the mind training comes in to start to empower us, to start to realize how powerful our mind is. Even though we have books and movies like The Secret, which talks about the power of manifesting, the power of our thought and so forth. But those are just stepping stone ideas along the way to begin to realize the power of our thoughts and the power of our mind. That the, the mesmerism, the, 
the sleep is so deep and the belief in lack runs so deep that it can seem like we have issues about survival, issues about having a relationship, getting a, even a relationship to start with, mm -hmm. just a basic one, you know, all these kind of things that just shows you the depth of this belief in lack and the depth the extreme depth in this belief in, in deprivation, whether it's deprivation from, from love and intimacy or around money and things and possessions, it's, it, we have to realize that there's a very deep baseline there that we're starting from and we're asking the Holy Spirit to take us step by step and empower us all the way back to being the Christ, to being the full I Am Presence.